Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Nichols. This Lifetime Achievement Award is voted by the trustees of the AFI to the individual who has advanced the art of film in the United States. And I think if tonight proves anything, it proves three things, Nick. One is that, as we see, they couldn't possibly have chosen better. Two is that you are a man with an extraordinary love and tolerance for your friends. <laughs> and three, that we, your friends, love you very much indeed. You ask any kid, and he'll tell you that Jack is the hippest place in the universe, the coolest place the independent republic of Jack. The hardest thing in the world is to wear a great gift well. And Jack wears it with a killer smile and a pair of shades. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Nicholson. Touched and uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not drunk and uh, <laughs> lucky to be at large. Thank you. <laughs> I want to uh, thank the American Film Institute for this uh, award. Uh, I want to acknowledge that my uh, sister Lorraine from New Jersey uh, came. Uh, She doesn't move around much. Uh, I appreciate her coming. And uh, my daughter Jennifer is here tonight. Uh, uh, Rebecca Broussard, the mother of some of my children, is here. Uh, She, uh, she changed her mind a lot of times. She's coming, not coming, coming, not coming. Let's take the babies. Well, you know, maybe she's right. I, I thought they were too young to drink. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an honor to work with these women, you know, really. I mean, if you look and see who's there, I mean, uh, you know, they work so great, uh, but you no, know, they're great people. That's what I love about them. Every one of them works hard, but I, I really like them so much as people. Uh, the uh, you know, most uh, commonly asked question is by Buddhists. Uh, and I, I was interested in the question. Lifetime Achievement Award, they asked me if anyone had ever won it twice. <laughs> sure. You know, have, you know, the dignity of the people that went before me, in all honesty, I. I revere them all. I know you all do too. Uh, you know, s some of them are uh, the very first things that I remember in life about anything. You know, I mean, I, there they are. I mean, that's what I think about life, and there's nothing behind it. Um, Common when I did, I got to see them work. I got to, uh, 
eventually I, you know, a couple of strokes of luck, I got to meet them, work with some of them, got to be friends with them. Um, well, I'm a late blooming success, work idle, blah, 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 all this. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, this, you know, after this, is, I've worked with directors from every, I travel all over the world. I am a hick actor. Uh, this expanded my life. Uh, this, this thing, business teaches you everything. It, um, love you all. I'm very proud to be here. I love this work. It's dangerous. You give your life to it. And uh, like all novice speech writers, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. The, the truth is uh, I'm proud of all of my collaborations. The work that's, that this is about has set my life free. Um, confounds me, I'm a romantic. I feel these things matter. These little patterns that we are in the universe. Okay. Um, my work motto is everything counts. My life motto is more good times. So, uh, I guess the only real danger here is after this, I'll fall in love with myself. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, my June shorty, I may be godless, I may be faithless. I still pray that they can hear me. I started out because of them, I'm here to please them. I've had a ball. I was gonna choose here to say goodnight, Mr. Calabash, wherever you are, because Shorty had an enormous nose and liked my imitation of Jimmy Durante. But um, the spirit I'd like to express on behalf of AFI, and if you don't mind, the international film community, really, all these things about age and time and everything is, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet.